A nonprofit that is supposed to be helping vulnerable people with their finances is accused of stealing their money. As News 13's Jeannie Nguyen found out, these clients have fallen victim to crooks before. Jeannie's live tonight near San Pedro and Lomas with what the AG's office has found. Jeannie. Dean, I'm standing in front of the Guardian Angels office. Attorney General Hector Balderas says he got a tip last year from a local judge that the CEO here was taking money from more than 240 disabled clients. Yesterday, he served a search warrant here and found the business had taken about $50,000 in a banking scheme. We already uh, have confirmed that we don't believe uh, these proceeds were spent in the interest of the clients, and so I'm very concerned. Baldera says BBVA Compass Bank was offering a promotional $200 bonus for opening a checking account. But according to this search warrant, Guardian Angels opened up accounts for 247 clients and CEO Pamela Crumpler took the $200 bonuses and transferred them to the company's account. The AG's office found Crumpler had been doing this since June, pocketing almost $50,000. Today, a client of Guardian Angels tells News 13 he's had problems with them in the past. They need to do a thir more thorough background check and they need to do, do like uh, aud more audits on them. Roger Hardy was also a victim of the now defunct Ayudando's Guardians. Many of Ayudando's clients were moved to Guardian Angels after Ayudando's founders were charged with stealing more than $4 million from accounts to feed their lavish lifestyle. Now, we reached out to Crumpler earlier this afternoon. She told us she did not want to comment, thanked us for the call, and then hung up. Dean, back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you. The AG's office anticipates charging Crumpler, they say, sometime next week.